Hey y'all, it's Trent with Blood Mountain Craftsman again, and today I'm gonna finally finish building my propane burner for my forge. So, let's get started. All right guys, so here's everything laid out that you need to build the propane burner. So we have a three quarter inch to one and a half inch reducer. We have a six inch long, three quarter inch pipe nipple. And then we have a three quarter inch to one inch reducer. Uh, for the internals, we have a POL to one quarter inch and to a quarter inch ball valve and to a quarter inch nipple. This one's three inches long, a quarter inch coupler, and then a quarter inch brass plug. For the brass plug, we're gonna drill and tap that to accept this MIG tip. This MIG tip is 0 0.025 inches. That's gonna be our actual propane jet. And then these machine screws are gonna what is gonna be what secures the coupler in the center of this. And then we're gonna use the quarter inch MPT tap and die to create um, an air valve so we can control the airflow with this piece of scrap steel that we were laying around. So overall, pretty simple design. Uh, I'll have a parts list in the video description and uh, let's get started with the build. We're gonna create four flat spots at 90 degree angles on the coupler so the machine screws can hold on to it better. I just wanted to create a few flat spots just like that so when we mount it these screws have no problem biting into that now we're going to sand a few flat spots on the three quarter inch to one and a half inch bell reducer just to make it easier to drill and tap just like that all right now we're getting ready to drill out the brass plug and get them ready to tap it Now we're going to tap this plug with the M6 by 1.0 tap. So a little fifth of mid tip. Put a little cutting fluid on there and get it seated. So check it out. The hole's a little off center, but we can adjust that with the set screws. The mid tip goes right in there. So, there's our propane jet, ready to go. Now we're gonna drill and tap the three quarter to one and a half inch bell reducer. We're gonna tap it so it takes these screws so it secu can secure the propane jet. So we now have the quarter inch coupler and the quarter inch black brass plug drilled and tapped to accept the MIG tip. So we got all that, we got thread tape on that, the yellow uh, Teflon tape on that. We have all that screwed up. Uh, we have the, our four machine screws set into the one and a half inch to three quarter inch reducer. So now we're gonna use these machine screws to set this directly in the center of the reducer. Uh, one of the easier ways to do this is set this on the table and then put that right over the center and get it centered up. Uh, the most important thing is to make sure that the MIG tip is as close to the center 
of this three quarter inch tube as possible so the actual propane jet is going down the center of the tube so it makes the most efficient flame as possible. So I'm gonna get that set up and then we can start working on getting the rest of the hardware set up and getting it hooked up to the propane tank. Now we're gonna take one extra step so we can control the airflow a little bit better. We're gonna take this piece, the scrap steel we had laying around, uh, cut out a square set section so it'll cover the back of the one and a half inch reducer. Find the center of that, we'll tap that to a quarter inch MPT and then we'll take the quarter inch MPT die and we'll finish the threads on this three inch nipple so that way that piece will be able to float freely, screw up and down on that. So that way when this connects to the quarter inch coupler, we'll have a way to control the airflow. So all of that will eventually be assembled like so. So I messed up the last three inch nipple pretty bad, had to make a quick run to Home Depot and got a four inch nipple with a coupler so I could grab on to my bench vise and I'm going to get this threaded up down to about halfway and uh, we'll get it put together. Hopefully this one will work out. So I got the threads on there, but marred it up pretty bad on the bench vise. I'm going to clean that up on the sander and uh, we'll get it put together. And just so you know, this is why I wanted to make those threads longer. So this is going to be the air regulator at the back of that one and a half inch reducer. So something like that. So get it cleaned up and we'll finally get it put together. All right, guys, we finally have everything ready for the final assembly. So we're going to put on our regulator, thread it on all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Take some yellow thread tape, put a couple wraps on the end because this one will feed into the coupler which feeds into the propane tube right there. Make sure that's good and clean. Now we can attach, so this is the three inch flare to the quarter inch, into the quarter inch ball valve, into the quarter inch nipple. And then this quarter inch nipple go into the quarter inch coupler, which has the MIG tip. So let's cinch all that in. Okay, there's our propane burner. And this is our air regulator. So we'll get everything tightened up, get it hooked up to the propane line and give it a test. All right, guys, we got this bad boy turned up to 25 PSI. The air valve opened just a little bit and uh, we'll see what it can do.
guys, I gotta admit, it feels pretty good to finally have that forge burner lit. I've been piddling around with it for a couple weeks now, and that doesn't even count the weeks. I would even say months of me watching YouTube videos, reading plans on the internet, reading a couple books about it. And uh, it feels good to finally have that under my belt, that little bit of experience under my belt. So I can finally say I understand it a little bit better. It was definitely a learning process. I feel a lot more confident about how they operate the design and building them. Um, next is to build the forge. I have all my fire bricks for it. I just gotta buy the steel to actually build it. So I know I've been saying this in all my videos, but we're really close to actually start blacksmithing. I really appreciate everybody taking the time out of the day to watch me. And uh, it feels really good to actually start building stuff. And I'll talk to you guys again, again soon. Thank you.